Hi everyone, Carol here from Well Inspired Handmade Crafts and I thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to bring you guys into my flower making world. So here are the roses that I have been creating for a project. And so I will show you guys the project I'm working on, which is this really big letter R, their initials. So I have an R and an E. And um, I'm going to be putting the paper flowers to cover the letter. Now, this letter is about 13 inches. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty big. It's nice um, for the wall. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. So um, it's really, really nice. I will be putting up the final result after. So these um, templates, they can be found in the Cricut Design Space. So, and you can change the size to however you like, but I wanted to show you guys. This one is from, it's about five and a half inches. All right. And like I said, a lot of different patterns can be found in Cricut Design Space, which is really neat. So the tool that I use to roll the flowers is called a quiller. It's a slotted tool that can be found in Hobby Lobby. I haven't seen it in Michaels yet, but I believe they do have it. And also um, Amazon has it. Um, I like it. There's like a little slot in there and that's where your paper goes and it holds it and it allows you to twist. See that? Twist the flower to create your roses. So I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to insert. There's a little thin slot. See that? Goes right into the card, the edge of the cardstock. And, um, you always start on this, you know, edge here and you work your way in. So you start rolling it, all right? And then you wanna make sure that it kinda stays on track. So you use your thumb and your forefinger to kinda help guide you. Um, you see how it can go up or down? So you just wanna make sure it stays in the center. Um, you can like rest it on your fingers there as you, as you turn it. You don't have to do it so tightly. Just like use your thumb to kinda guide as you keep going around. All right, as you can see, your flower starting to form there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep going around. You wanna make sure it's not too loose and not too tight. All right, so you just kind of press together there. See that technique I press to kind of guide it. So now when you get to the end, you wanna take out the tool and the center stays perfectly intact. Just finish it off with, you know, um, with your hands, just try to go around, around the, around the flower. Okay. So the nice part is that this final circle acts like your tab to hold everything. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun, which I love so much and highly recommend is the Lynn Lily. And these colors are just super cute. Makes me want to craft every day. <laughs> so I suggest you get yourself one. It's really hard to get here, not gonna lie. I waited a couple of weeks, maybe more, um, to get my hands on it because it's always sold out. So I started following her um craft box girls um on Instagram and I found out when she you know became available and I grabbed one up really quickly and it's already it's already sold out. And I like it because it has a precision tip. So it's exactly where I want the glue to go. It's not the wide tip. And it's from Sure Bonder, so it's my favorite. So now you're gonna place the tab over and then you hold it together, you know, together for a couple of seconds there. And then you're gonna turn the flower around and you're gonna press down, not too hard, as you kind of squeeze it together, all right? And there's your rose and you can see this is a like I said the five five and a half inch and I wanted that small because like I said I am going to be placing these flowers with my glue my favorite glue onto the letter all right and I cannot wait to show you guys what that's gonna look like thank you so much I hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up and I appreciate you for the follow and um, if you have any questions as always reach out to me I'm here for you guys thank you have a good night